Hey, what's up, YouTube? Okay, so I, I realized that my last few videos have been uh, a bit doomy and gloomy, and uh, you know I'm not trying to do the fear mongering thing, um, but it you know it just quite quite frankly it's where we're at. You know, it's the state of affairs in the world these days. Um, really, like the only good news article that I've come across in like the last week or so um, was the judge throwing out the. California ban on uh, ammo and other than that I mean it's you know pretty much just all uh, all the big stuff has been negative news uh, I'll throw the link in the description box to that article if you want to read on that ammo thing uh, nice little victory there for the uh, Second Amendment folks um, anyway on on to point here for this video you know I just wanted to take a minute and to clearly point out uh, three major lessons that we really should take note of on the whole uh, Egyptian uh, revolution that's going on. We're seeing something unfold in Egypt that uh, very, very, very well may be directly related to the U.S. in uh, you know not so long a time. So let's take a look at these three key points. Uh, first off, title on CNN. Food staples starting to run out in Egypt. And, of course, all the links will be in this description box. I'm just going to scroll down here, and it says, this is a quote from um, uh, some school administrator uh, woman over there in Egypt. And she says, everything is running out. I have three children, and I only have enough to feed them for maybe two more days. After that, I do not know what we will do. Food. Uh, you need food to live. And with the SHTF hitting the fan, the people are no longer being able to acquire food easily. Uh, second thing is communication. Uh, here's an article from Times of India. And there's actually tons of articles that were recently came out on the uh, Egyptian government shutting down the internet. But that's exactly what they did. Oh, shit. That's the wrong one. Okay. Okay, second lesson learned is coming out of the Wall Street Journal. Egypt shuts down internet and cell phone services. Uh, most everybody who's watching this probably has already heard about this because this was pretty much plastered all over the place. Um, the Egyptian government, in fact, did shut down the internet. Um, at first, they just focused on the social media sites like Twitter and Facebook, uh, but then they took the whole thing down. And... They also did this with the uh, a lot of the major cell phone carriers. Uh, I don't know if it was all the cell phone carriers or, or whatnot, but it definitely was uh, a bunch of them. So in effect, when the Egyptian government saw that things were getting out of hand, they completely cut off the uh, communication lines for the people. And yeah, I'm, I'm sure they still had a few landlines and people were sending faxes and this kind of stuff, but, you know, really... Uh, the main lines of communication were severed. The third is a article out of the Times of India and the title is No Cops in Sight, Indians in Cairo Fight Looters with Bats. And this article is representative of uh, the the general situation where a lot of the cops were you know no, no longer at their post uh, and well in fact specifically for this Egypt situation the cops were causing a lot of the trouble you know trying to go after a lot of the protesters and you know but whatever that's a tangent the point is that the cops weren't there to protect the citizens and as this article points out uh, in this particular instance it was a group of uh, Indians that were using their children's cricket bats and uh, you know trying to defend their neighborhood but you know that's the lesson that uh, in the SHTF the cops might not be there so those are the three main ones. I am going to throw up one little bonus one. This is a bonus round lesson to be learned. And this is coming out of an article uh, from the New York Times. The title is uh, Political Crisis Starts to be Felt Economically. And the thing that I just want to recap on this, it's a little bit lengthy. I'm going to jump down. Let's see. i got to find it now. Sorry, guys. Here it is. So it's this is an excerpt from the article, and it says, 
We did not get any new gas for the last two days, said Mustafa Ahmed Hamadi, uh, the owner of an Alexandria mobile station, adding that he usually received about 2,600 gallons a day and now has only about 1,300 gallons left. He said that he had owned the station for 12 years but has never seen a situation like this before. So, basically, you know, it doesn't specifically say how much uh, that guy has been getting during this, if any, but within about six days, uh, whatever stock that he has in his mobile station uh, is basically just about used up. So, there you go. Six days, gas is almost gone. So those are the uh, main lessons that I wanted to bring to everybody's attention. And, uh, you know, I definitely think they're worth uh, definitely taking mental note of, if not some sort of physical note of. And, you know, I mean, this is it. We're seeing it play out in black and white right before our eyes. And there, there really is, in my opinion, no argument to say why we wouldn't experience similar things if this came here. And, uh, you know, I, I just have to crack up when I saw another article that I don't have in front of me, but uh, Obama was saying that uh, that uh, the Egyptians, or, or what was he saying? He was saying that the Egyptian government shouldn't have shut the net off or that uh, something like that would never happen here. Or, I, it was something to that effect. We all know that he signed the Internet kill switch into law. So it's just, I don't know, just the madness continues. That's it for now. Later, YouTube.